there and closed the western store and started Cowboy Church. And mm -hmm. so it took off from the very beginning. We, uh, I didn't pastor for about a year. Another guy pastored for about a year. Then I started pastoring. And we, we've expanded four times. We've had wow. expanded four times. Now, is it a, a certain denomination? It's I mean, non-denominational. It's, it's okay. not, a, not any de denomination, but it's just been a... Uh, it came, it started from, from a Baptist church in Texas. And it's just spun off of that, and we've, it's been going ever since. So. That is great, and, and uh, I love what I... I read right here, it says, no hats or boots, no problem comes you are, no horses required. So it's been a great misconception about what people thought about Cowboy Church. We've had so many people come in and say, I expected the dogs to be everywhere. I expected right. you to be sitting on bales of hay. Yeah. It's not like that. It's like it's, it's, it's set up as a real relaxed atmosphere. One, one man said it best. He said, it's like sitting on my couch at home when I come mm -hmm. here. So it's a real relaxed atmosphere. Uh, and people take that wrong sometimes. It's, it's just anything goes. It's not that right. It's, it's structured. It's, a, it's, it's just a real good place. It's a place for people to come that wouldn't go anywhere else. And so we've had so many people that haven't had been to church in 20 or 30 years that started in love mm -hmm. and stayed, stayed there because it's just, it is relaxed. It's, you don't have to dress up if you don't want to. You're welcome to if you want to. But, right. but it's just been a real good thing for us. Now, do you have a. Uh, uh, children's classes and yes. things of that nature. We, we do on Sunday morning. We have a children's class that, that goes on while we're having church in the, in the main sanctuary. Uh, on Monday nights, we have a youth service that uh, we, we have on our Sunday services or Sunday morning at 1030. And then we have Monday night services at seven o'clock. We've always done that. That's what it's always been. And, and uh, it gives people from other denominations that want to come and see what it's about. Right. It gives them a chance to come right. and so. That is great. That is really great. Uh, now, do you have a choir? Just everybody sings? How, how does that? We have a band, a real good, you know, a wonderful band. And, and so we, we have congregational singing, then we always have, also have special singing too. Right. Okay. So that's, that's All right. That, that is great. Uh, now let's go over let's go over this as it's happening next uh, the blue light vigil and that's going to be this Saturday July the 23rd at 8.30 and that will be at the Cowboy Church in, 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 the, the, in the arena we will be in the arena uh, barring no rain okay. if it does we'll move inside but this will be a great event it's to honor all the police officers that's been killed in the last year that and we want to do that to honor them. We have, I think, four or five officers that attend church there, but uh, we're, we're doing this to honor the ones that gave their life. For right. So it's, I think it'll be a real good event. This is a, a not just a, our county wide, but it's reaching to the counties around us. The, we'll have uh, sheriffs and, and the police chiefs that will be speaking that night concerning their department and what, mm -hmm. what this is all meant to them. So. I think it'll be a real good event. Uh, it will be a, a candlelight vigil, and uh, it will be outside where we can you know, cut the lights down. Right. A, I think it'll be a real moving event for people that have lost loved ones in, in, in the, on the force. Uh, I'm just going to read a few names, <laughs> if that's okay. Uh, of course, you're going to do the opening prayer, mm -hmm. and then we'll have uh, a guest include Sheriff Williamson from Colbert County. Sheriff's Office, Chief Hood from Leeton uh, Police Department, Chief Logan from Tuscumbia Police Department, Chief Ray from Sheffield Police Department, Chief Hendershot from Lexington Police Department, Sheriff Mitchell from Lawrence County Sheriff's Office, Bobby Inman from, is that Colbert County Sheriff's Office? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then there will be more, uh, will be an opening prayer speakers, then roll call, and ringing of, of the bell under the blue lights. Please bring a candle, and uh, we would like to invite everybody out to uh, support the community. And, and right. these days are different, aren't they? Yeah, they are. One other thing we might add: bring a chair if you want. Bring see a it. chair. Yeah, okay. I see it. So, yeah. Uh, this will be. Uh, there, there's other, you know, other sheriff's department, police departments been added on since this. Too, okay. So. All right. But it won't be anything that's going to be real long to wear you down. It's just real short speeches from each one that will 
kind of shared what, mm -hmm. what those things to them. You know, and uh, this is a good thing. It especially if folks, if you if you bring your children, I think it would really educate them. Uh, let them know that life is real, life and death, and uh, what some of these people have sacrificed so that we might. You know, it's almost like they're in the military fighting a war. Right. They are. They are yeah. fighting a war here for us. So uh, uh, I just uh, thank you, gentlemen, for, for thinking of this and putting this on. And that will be this Saturday at 8.30 p.m. at the Cowboy Church of Colbert County. So make sure you attend that. Bring a candle and a chair. Right. Candle and a chair. Okay, great. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit more. Uh, well, let's talk about the uh, upcoming Cowboy Up for Jesus Men's confer uh, Conference, which is Friday, August the 19th, and Saturday, August the 20th. You all want to tell me a little bit about that? Well, well, he's head of our men's ministry, and, and okay. he's, he's heading this up, so we'll let him talk about that. That's okay. Yeah, we got some. Hilbert, yeah. great. He's a director of evangelism at the Sandy Alabama yeah. Board of Missions, mm -hmm. and he will be speaking that Friday night. Uh, and worship be led by our band, Stampede. Uh, that's what Brother Trumman said there just a few minutes ago about. Uh, and uh, snacks will be available that Friday night. Uh, and it is sponsored by the Cowboy Church, Cobb County Men's Ministry. And as Brother Trumman said, is I am the team leader, the men's ministry team leader. Uh, and this is the first of hopefully what will be many other men's conferences at Cowboy Church. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think this is the first conference, men's conference, mm -hmm. that's, that's ever been. This is not for just our men either. This is this is countywide, right. statewide. Anybody that wants to come, will be there to do. And this will be at the church, is that correct? Sure. Yes. All right. And it starts at uh, 7 p.m.? Mm -hmm. 7 p.m. on Friday night. Okay. All right. What are some of the topic, topics you think they'll be mentioned? Um, Sandy, I'm sure, will touch on a lot on, on the times that we're in with our men and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and be lifting us up. He's a, he's a great speaker. Uh, he, he does a great job, and I think you'll really enjoy hearing him because he, he is really, uh, the, the times that I've heard him has done a wonderful job. And, right. and it's uplifting, it lifts us up and lets us know where we need to be as men. Right. And he, he's also got a good testimony there too because not too long ago, he was uh, had some real bad health problems. Mm -hmm. He's come through that through the grace of God. Amen. Uh, and our Saturday morning, we will have a breakfast. It'll be served around 8 a.m. And that'll be followed by service and a, a, a message from the speaker. And uh, that speaker for that Saturday morning will be Brett Hall from Bible Belt Outdoors. And okay. we've had him uh, before speak at our men's breakfast. Uh, and. He's uh, really a great speaker. He sort of bases uh, his ministry around his cause that he builds, and he's got a testimony with all that too. And mm -hmm. he's, he's really just a great, great speaker. Uh, I've been knowing him for a little while, and we've been knowing his family for years. And uh, he's really had a. a I guess you might say interesting life with everything he's been through. And he'll, he'll touch on some of that. Uh, but uh, our band also will be uh, leading the worship there, which they do an awesome job. Uh, and by the way, I mentioned it, our men's breakfast is the first Saturday of uh, each month, uh, unless otherwise you know, noted. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we have had some times that we had uh, something come up and we have had to call them off. Right. Uh, but I'm, I'm expecting a real good 
turnout. We are. We're expecting a really good turnout. Uh, and if you plan on coming for the breakfast, uh, you will need to call. That way we can get a head count of right. how many folks we're going to have right. and know how much food to cook so everybody... Now, do y'all have a, a website or Facebook set yes. up? Yes, sure okay. do. The website is www.cbcci.org. Okay. All right. And that'll have all the information? It'll have all the information uh, from the church, different ministries. Um, I think it's even got a little history on the church. Oh, that's, that's, that's right. I'll, I'll check that out. Uh, I think we... Uh, probably need to go to a commercial break or is that the end of the show Cindy? commercial okay uh, folks uh, we're gonna take a quick break and uh, we'll be back with uh, mr. Hatton and mr. Sutton from the Cowboy Church of Cobbett County in just a couple minutes so y'all stay tuned <laughs> 